It was unbelievable. It was um, definitely the best swimming competition I've probably experienced. Um, obviously, the Olympics is amazing, but um, two days of fast racing um, in front of an awesome crowd. Uh, I had an absolute great time, and to be to be a captain and to be on the winning teams are uh, very special. I really didn't know. I think uh, after World Championships, I took five weeks off. Um, I had heart surgery, uh, so I've really only been back in the pool for three to four weeks. So it was kind of just a bit of a guessing game to see how things were going. I knew knew that my speed was quite good. I just didn't know how my uh, aerobic fitness would be like my back end and my hundreds always been my strength so uh, I was hoping that it'll all come together today and uh, yeah I'm very happy with that it's probably better than I was expecting to do so I uh, can't complain. They were good my 50 was um, a personal best time which was um, exciting and then tonight uh, the 100 freestyle was quite good as well so I think I can definitely do better next week. Um, I think we as Aussies probably don't race uh, enough and especially don't race, um, you know, back them up enough. Like, you know, I had three races both nights um, and I probably found that quite difficult. Normally I'm used to doing one race per day and uh, to do that many races was um, definitely a new experience for me. But I think uh, we've all learnt, learnt things going into next week in Budapest and I think we should be um, quite a lot better next week, hopefully. Uh, I think it's the way of the future. I think this is probably going to be, um, you know, the way that swimming goes and hopefully it's successful. But again, I think, uh, like I said, we as Aussies probably don't race enough. Um, the travel's quite tough, but to, to get the opportunity to race uh, the best guys in the world, I think it was, you know, a very, very deep field, especially in my races here. Um, so it's a great opportunity to race those guys, kind of see where I'm at and, um, yeah, just I, I, I love travel. I've got my coach here, my own physio, so um, and my girlfriend's here as well. She's on the New York Breakers, so it's kind of been it's been easy for me, really. Yeah, I raced uh, Santa Clara in 2016, just before the Olympics. But um, first time short course, first time in Texas, so uh, I absolutely love it here. It's um, it's been awesome. So uh, I wish I had more time, probably, to check it out. We're able to. Go watch the Dallas Mavericks play the first day I was here, which was cool. Massive basketball fan, and then tonight we're going to watch the Cowboys. So um, it's uh, it's very special to be able to watch. I guess sports are, are so huge, especially in Australia. They're just as big. Well, now it's it's very we're very lucky. We can almost be professional swimmers. Really, obviously. Um, Swimming hasn't probably been um, a huge financial sport in the past, but I think um, this is definitely helping us in the, the way that we can actually focus on training a lot more. I guess a lot of, especially the Aussies, we, we have jobs or um, all study, and I guess it's all preparing for life after swimming, whereas if we can actually earn a sufficient income now, I think it's gonna be easier for us to get quite, quite a lot better. So. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely making the decision a lot easier not to follow, I guess, my dream of being an Aussie rules footballer, but now to be uh, a professional swimmer, it's, um, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. And uh, it's cool being able to come, come here and race and be able to race multiple times towards the end of the year. Hey, do you love swim swim as much as I do? Do you want hours of endless practice footage, race video, and a guide to the best pancakeries in the country? Then subscribe to our YouTube channel below and follow us on social media at Swim Swam News on Twitter and Instagram. If we get a million followers, I might just eat a million pancakes. Only one way to find out.